and welcome to the practical session of human physiology. Today we are going to perform an experiment that is determination of bleeding time and clotting time. So before performing the experiment, let us see what is hemostasis. Hemostasis, it refers to the process of stoppage of bleeding after blood vessels are punctured, cut or damaged. It is a mechanism to prevent the loss of blood by complex interactions of some plasma proteins, blood vessels and platelets. So as you can see in the picture, this is a blood vessel and it is injured or there is a cut. So due to this, there is a loss of blood from that injured area. After some time, there is a formation of platelet plugs to prevent the further loss of blood. And as a result, fibrin formations will take place so that no blood loss will take place further. Hemostasis, it is a mechanism and it involves four interrelated steps. At first, Blood vessels injury takes place due to which vessel constriction, that means construction, constriction in the blood vessels will take place. As a result, the platelets which is present in the blood, it got activated and there will be a formation of platelet in the injured area. Later on, with the help of fibrin, there is a formation of blood clots and later on, there will be a fibrinolysis that is uh, clot degradations. So these are the following uh, steps which occur during the bleeding to stop the flow. There are many tests for hemostasis. These are like bleeding time, IV bleeding time, clotting time, prothrombin time, platelet counts and clot lysis time etc. So today we are going to perform bleeding time. Now what is this bleeding time? It is the time interval between the skin puncture and spontaneous unassisted stoppage of bleeding. This is a test which is performed in vitro for platelet function. And this bleeding time usually perform or it is a used as a routine test before any minor or major surgery. In a normal healthy person, the bleeding time should be within 1 to 5 minutes duration. Now let us see how to perform the bleeding time experiment. Materials required for determination of bleeding time are sterile lancet, filter paper, surgical spirit, cotton and stopwatch. Procedure At first, clean the fingertip with alcohol. And allow the skin to dry completely. Make a deep finger prick with the help of a sterile lancet. Start the stopwatch and absorb the blood drop 
with the filter paper. Note the time, this is the zero time. Absorb the blood drop every 30 second by touching the puncture side with the filter paper. Pressing or squeezing the wound should be avoided. Note the time when the bleeding stops. That is when there is no traces of blood spot on the filter paper. Encircle the spots and Number 8 as well. Count the number of blood spots and multiply it by 30 second. So here the number of blood spots are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Number of blood spot multiplied by 30 second gives 180 second. Normal range of bleeding time by Duke's method varies from 1 to 5 minutes. Clotting time is also an another test for hemostasis. Now what is clotting time? It is the time interval between the entry of blood into the glass capillary tube or a syringe and formation of fibrin threads. Now we all know that blood coagulation or clotting of blood it involves both intrinsic and extrinsic system. The clotting time is uh, usually prolonged uh, in the case of hemophilia and other clotting disorder. The normal clotting time is about 3 to 6 minutes. Now let us perform this clotting time experiments. Materials required for the determination of clotting time are 
sterile lancet, capillary tubing without anticoagulant, surgical spirit, cotton and stopwatch. Clean the fingertip with alcohol. and allow the skin to dry completely. Make a deep finger prick with the help of a sterile lancet. Wipe off the first two drops. Allow the next drop to flow into the capillary tube by introducing one end of the tube into the blood. Note the time. The blood rises into the tube by capillary action. Hold the capillary tube in between the palm of your hand to keep the blood near body temperature. After 2 minutes, break the capillary tube 1 to 2 cm from one end at an inward interval of 30 seconds. Look for the appearance of fibrin thread between broken ed ends. As there is no fibrin thread, so we will again break the capillary tube of 30 seconds. As you can see the appearance of fibrin thread that is at the both the end of the capillary. Note the time. The normal range of clotting time by capillary tube method ranges from 0 to 6 minutes. 